Commissioner Roger Goodell uh, wants to permanently ban the brotherly shove. That's right. It's all coming to an end. Once the commission starts talking about it and saying he wants to get it done, it's going to get done, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Mr. Goodell just made all our lives a little easier in the NFL outside of the Eagles <laughs> organization. Uh, per the Athletics, Diana Russini. Shout out to Diana. Commissioner Goodell reportedly wants the play removed from the game permanently. Banning the play would still have to be voted on by the competition committee and passed by the owners to vote on it. But uh, three members of the competition committee uh, come from Philadelphia's um, NFC East rivals, according to the report. So oh, it's looking, yeah. <laughs> looking like you guys, not uh, yeah, it's not, not too good for the, uh, the newly brotherly shove. Where you guys illegally push each other in the back. Um, no, it's legal. Jason, right do you fully expect yet. it to be banned next season at this point? I mean, yeah, are you I just don't. sick of the debate? I feel like every time we talk yeah. about this, you're just like, listen, F- this. Ban it. I, don't, I, I, I really, at this point, I don't care. I'm over the discussion about it. And to be fair, it would just be banning like the push in the back. You got everybody would still be able to run the QB sneak, sneak, I think. Yeah. Well, that's where I'm kind of like, you know, whatever. Just. We were we were really good at running quarterback sneak before we did the push. I don't think that it's a necessary part for it. It certainly helps. There's no question about it. But I think, uh-huh. um, listen, I just I don't have the energy to care about whether it gets banned or not. Uh, we're going to run it right now because we're good at it and it's effective. And whatever they do next season, we'll figure out a way to do something at a high level and make it effective. I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't think it makes sense to really worry about it. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It used to be illegal to push the runner. Then they changed the rules. So I don't think it, um, yeah, I mean, they can push on defense. Yeah. I don't know. I got nothing. I think you're right on whatever they want to do. I don't think, I don't, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know if, if it's for a health reason, I don't think a lot of guys get injured on it. So I don't think that's a good reason. If it's for an unfair advantage, we've already seen other teams do it at not as good of a success level. So I don't know that it's that big of a competitive advantage. Um, I, I think that a lot of it is going to get banned just because, quite frankly, um, a lot of coaches and defensive coaches in particular don't want to have to defend it or it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a high percentage chance that it's going to work. So they've complained enough that now – People want to see it gone. And, you know, at this point, I'm not really going to get into it too much. Um, I get both sides of it. Whatever they want to do, I don't, they're not going to bother they, me. What's crazy is they change fucking rules like this all the time. Like, uh, we used to be able to cut out in the open. Like, we used to be able to just drop cut DBs and linebackers as long as we were going downfield. And it's like when they stopped doing that, it was like, damn, that's going to kind of eliminate a lot of big plays because getting a guy off of his legs and on the ground is a huge advantage to have, especially in space. I was against that change too, because first of all, there just weren't that many guys that got hurt on cut blocks. It happened. I mean, Brian Cushing got cut from behind and it was a big deal. I mean, it tore his ACL. Yeah. It was a bad play. I mean, yeah. so well, I get why you want to clipping, but yeah. I, I get why like there's a health perspective, right? Where they're trying to make the game, and players look out for safety, right? But in my opinion, when they took out cut blocking, all that does is because who is the perfect person to cut? Somebody who's running out of control. Out of control. If yeah. somebody is in control, it's you can't you cut that person. You can't cut them. Yeah. So like now, all these guys have to do now is just run as fast as they want, and there's no repercussions for them being out of control. Before it's like, hey, you want to be out of control? I'm going to cut your legs out from underneath you. It slows it down. So now these guys are taking bigger hits up top potentially but they I, so i don't know that it gets what you're trying to have accomplished whenever you get rid of these things but regardless you know listen you play with what you have everybody's out here doing it for good reasons if they do brand the ban the brotherly shove there will be a good reason behind it that the commissioner wants to get done and i i think that whether people agree with it or not it is what it is and we move forward and um yeah cup blocking got removed you know, and it happened for both sides. Now tackles can try and run through cornerbacks, you know, chess because cornerbacks aren't allowed to cut the tackle on space. You move forward. Yeah, you, play, you, you play the game that's played. You know what I mean? We were so thirty six uh, for thirty eight right. running that's... quarterback sneaks before the push. Uh, Brian Baldinger released a Damn, a video. A, shout out to Baldy. Stat. Baldy breakdowns. Uh, Baldy released a video last week, I think, referencing the fact that you know 
the tush push gets a lot of the the hype, but um, you know, ever since Jeff Statlin's been here, we've been pretty darn efficient on quarterback sneaks, just around the ninety two percent mark, uh, if I don't say so myself. All right now. 